everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom and I are making two beautiful sets of white and gold 3D flower resin coasters. As you might be able to tell, we're reusing a Greek yogurt tub to mix our resin, so keep in mind you might have things around your house that instead of throwing them away, they might be perfect to reuse for resin. After mixing our resin for about 3 minutes, we separate it into two larger cups, one for me and one for my mom. I'm excited to share this tutorial with you guys because we actually got a few questions about the coasters that my mom made because she did post them on her Instagram. Most of the times we'll share our work on Instagram before we actually share a tutorial on YouTube, so make sure to follow my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art, and my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, to get a little sneak peek of what might be coming next. Now I'm going to be adding in my white pigment, and I'm using Titanium White by Just Resin. And this is me waving to my mom for her to show what she's using, and she's using Casting Craft White. Then I start to stir my white pigment and my mom starts to shake her cast and craft bottle. I will have affiliate links in the description where you can purchase some of these products, so make sure to check that out. My mom adds a few more drops of cast and craft and I start to mix some gold leaf flakes into a small cup of resin. And I'm using a wooden stick to move the gold leaf flakes from the container into the cup because they are very sticky. And I'm adding some gold glitter as well. I mixed that together and I also decided to add some iridescent flakes. And this is my mom showing some small silver flakes that she'll be using. Then I start to pour the resin in my mold and in this video my mom and I are both going to be pouring the resin in one mold, finishing the design in that mold and then pouring in the next mold. Previously we've poured the clear resin in all four molds immediately but I think you get a better effect in your resin if you pour each mold individually. I used a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and my mom is using this makeup brush just to be sure that the resin has reached all the crevices of the mold. Then I added the gold flakes into the center of my mold and I started to pour my white pigmented resin. I have my white pigmented resin in a paper cup and I've squeezed the top of the cup to allow less to come out while I'm pouring. While I'm pouring, I'm not making big flower petals, but I'm pouring in a thin and spiky movement to try a different look than what we've previously done. And then I use a wooden stick to straighten out some of the blobs. I poured in my second mold and I actually poured in too much, so I'm taking some out with a small spoon and my mom starts to apply her white pigmented resin into her mold and she's doing so with a stick to be able to add a very small amount and to place it exactly where she wants. Whereas while I'm pouring with a small cup, I don't have so much control of where the resin is exactly going and how much comes out of the cup and by using a wooden stick, you can pay way more attention to detail. When I'm done with one mold, I use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles, and when you're using a torch gun, make sure that you have it constantly moving so that you don't burn your silicone mold or your resin. I continue to do one mold at a time, pouring in the clear resin, then adding the gold leaf flakes, and then adding the white pigmented resin. As you can see, using the wooden stick does take a little bit longer because there's a lot more attention to detail that goes into it. This is also the first time that she's trying this design, and as many of you know while doing something for the first time, it does take a while to get the hang of it. And this is also an original design that she came up with, and I think the end product is so beautiful and unique. She decided to name it the Wild Heart Lotus Flower. We would love to see if you guys try to remake this design with your own twist to it, so make sure to tag us on Instagram if you do try it out for yourselves. Here I'm adding some finishing touches to my soon-to-be coasters. I'm using the torch gun to pop any air bubbles and a wooden stick to straighten out any blobs. Then I flee the scene and allow for my mom to finish her design. She starts to apply her white pigmented resin into her last mold and as some time has passed, you can see by now that the white pigmented resin has nicely started to slightly shift in the molds. 
She adds some final touches to her white flower petals and then starts to add some finishing details. She adds some small pieces of tinted glass into the bottom half of her molds and by first dipping her wooden stick in some resin, it allows for her to easily pick up the tinted glass and place them into the molds. She adds some small silver metallic rocks and adjusts the placement by using the wooden stick. And she does the same to the rest of the molds. And she adds some of the small silver rocks to the top of the mold as well near the flower petals. Here's a clip of me demolding the coasters. Usually here is where I show the final product, but we have one more step for these Wild Heart Lotus Flower Coasters. For this last step, she's using Art Podge, which is just like Mod Podge, and she dips a small brush into the container and starts to draw on the coasters in the shape of a flower bud and stem. Then with the same brush, she adds some gold leaf flakes and brushes them on to the same area that's covered in Mod Podge. She uses the brush to break the gold leaves into smaller pieces and allows that to dry for 24 hours. Then once it's dried, we both added a heat resistant top coat onto our coasters and here's the final product.
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.